Well, the Supreme Court today dismissed the plea filed by educational trusts seeking exemptions under the IT Act. The court said that educational trusts or societies which seek exemption under the Income Tax Act should solely be concerned with education or related activities. Let's keep in mind that so far, uh, the the predominant rule of the law land essentially was that for an educational trust to seek exemption under IT Act, uh, they would be required to show that they are predominantly, the key word being predominantly engaged in the activities of education. That has been the understanding so far as of this morning. Things changed uh, this morning. The Supreme Court gave its judgment and clarified that uh, the predominant threshold is no longer uh, sufficient. The Supreme Court said that uh, for educational trusts to secure IT exemption under the Income Tax Act, they have to demonstrate that they are solely, the key word here, being solely dedicated and committed to activities of education. Uh, what's important here is that the Supreme Court has further clarified uh, that the profit motive cannot be the main motivating factor or the driving objective uh, behind the education trust. They would be ineligible in such a scenario. However, uh, the Apex Court has clarified that profit is not barred as long as it is incidental. So for an example, uh, if there's an educational trust that runs a school and in the process also uh, leases, uh, in fact, provides hostel facilities to its students, that is an educational activity because students require hostel facilities. But if those hostel facilities were then to be leased out to students of other educational institutions or other students, in that case, it would be uh, not related to education directly. It would be a rental activity and therefore uh, such an activity is not permitted. So uh, two takeaways here. The Supreme Court holding that for educational trusts to seek IT exemptions, they must be solely uh, committed to the idea of education and educational activities and that profit cannot be uh, the motivation behind the education trust. An important clarification this, uh, but we spoke to many experts. They tell us uh, that this could cause some confusion uh, going ahead in, at the implementation stage. Also important to point out that this is uh, prospective in nature. It will not be applied. This judgment will not be applied retrospectively. That's the big takeaway here uh, from the Apex Court. But